to all my black entrepreneurs. We got to do better, y'all. So tune in to the Entrepreneurians Podcast, where we help build better black businesses. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back to the Entrepreneurians Podcast with me, your girl Tiffany Nicole and Lash Trace. What up, what up, what up, y'all? And we are here with, y'all know it's Trace's favorite segment. My favorite <laughs> segment, Ninja Business. Let's mm, get into it. Let's I get love into it. it. So, Quetta, please, tell us. Uh, uh, first of all, ninja business is just another word for bad business. Oh, okay. um, And we try to stay away from it. We try to avoid it. We try to duck, dodge it, uh, matrix it. <laughs> right? Like, <it's>, <laughs> all that. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally. Um, so t- first, tell us some um, ninja business that you've practiced yourself with your own business or businesses. And then tell us some you either avoided or suffered from or both mm. and what you learned from all the experiences right oh that's good so bad business i definitely learned i used to collaborate with a lot of people mm-hmm. and the biggest thing i learned it's so it's good to collaborate because when you look at big businesses they all doing one of three things they're collaborating they're merging or they're acquiring one another yep. so collaborations are good but if you also look back at those big businesses they're on the same level when they collaborate mm-hmm. so i think in the past i would collaborate with any and everybody and i learned that a lot of times that keeps you from growing because you working with people who not even on your level yep. mm. and that pulls you down so if, if they're not if you if you're here and they're there y'all gonna meet in the middle you mm-hmm. can't go you have reached your highest because mm-hmm. these people can't take you there yep. mm. so what i've learned a bad business is to learn to say no i would say yes to anybody who mm-hmm. came to me with a business idea yep now our last guest said the same thing I'm t- <laughs> really i'm telling you our last guest said the same exact thing she said that she was so gung ho, she's a nonprofit, and she was wow. so gung ho about getting her nonprofit out. She would take any kind of help from anybody, any go show up to everything, any interviews, any whatever, because yeah. she wanted to collaborate and get out there. Right. Yeah. So I think it's a mistake that a lot of us make. Yeah, she yeah. said she found herself on shows being interviewed that being interviewed on shows that had nothing to do with her business. Nothing. nothing. And it would. It could possibly hurt her business yeah. just to just to be present on this podcast. And it, no offense to the podcast, it's right. just it's not my. These are it's, it's not my tribe. This yeah. is not my audience. Yeah. Yeah. This is not my subject. And it's taking away from your time that yes. you can be using towards something which you really good at. Mm-hmm. Right. But I learned that too. I learned that people come for a reason and for a season. A lot of time we let people in because it sounds exciting. Yep. We don't sit down. We don't think about it. We don't make sure it's a good fit. We don't mm-hmm. make sure it's going to reach our target target our customer audience so now i'm at a space where if the person isn't on my level or doing better than me i can't work with them mm-hmm. and that's perfectly fine yes yeah, yeah and i and i think that's that gauge, with us being point. black people we sometimes feel like we don't want people to be offended by what by that it's true and it's like it's not personal to you it's not this is for me and at some point you got to be selfish you have to i think i've been so public and open with everybody Mm -hmm. that this is my time like i need this time to focus on me focus on my goals focus on partnering with people who are on the next level Mm -hmm. if i keep partnering with people who really got 20 or 30 percent to what i bring to the table on the come up when they're coming up under you Thank trying to get you. what you got that's yes. what it is and they yeah. usually leave with my customers they yeah. leave with all my following if you go look at most of the people I've collaborated with now my, my whole following is following them mm. my customers are their customers I don't have a problem with it but we don't share that I can't yeah. say the same for them right. I can't say that I got customers from collaborating with you mm-hmm. or I got so I, I would say to anybody be careful a lot of times collaborations do help out because you save money you save time you save inventory but you also so missing a lot of things. Mm-hmm. A collaboration is supposed to be the yin to the yang. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what I'm missing, you bring to it. But if y'all both on the same level, nobody's watching the negative. What's not happening? Yep. Mm-hmm. So first thing I would say is get with people on your level or better than you. Mm-hmm. The second thing I would say is get a business mentor. You need two or three in business. Mm-hmm. You yeah. need people to bounce ideas yes. off of. You need people to talk to and say, no, you are wrong and that you're doing it wrong. Mm-hmm. And then lastly, I would say I made a real big mistake pricing my 
products before I sat down and went over the cost of everything. Yo, yeah. So Ooh. I would give. Because you be so eager to sell. You be so eager to sell. Yeah. And then when, when the money come in and you seeing that you didn't get back mm -hmm. your money, you actually took a loss. Yep. You sit down and you go over price points yep. and you understand your bottom line and profits and loss. Mm -hmm. Like every, I think a lot Margins. of times people will see the see whatever is wholesale. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm just gonna double that, triple that. Mm -mm. You're not talking about the shipping costs. It costs to get here. Thank you. You're not talking about your packaging to ship it out to your customer. You're not talking about all the marketing you're doing for yep. your customer. All that stuff is included. It's included. Like it got to be included in what your price is. Yep. And then, and then you're absolutely right. We missed it. I think for three, four years now going on, people are like, God, your waist trend is a little high. Well, you're going to pay minimum $50. <laughs> well, one, you're getting a fitness group that comes with the, mm. the group. You're getting um, text messages for free to re remind you to take the challenges. You're also getting, we do free giveaways every month. Yeah, you got yeah. access to that. We send out newsletter. My prices included the time that I put into the business. Mm -hmm. It right. just wasn't for a waist trainer. So yep. you're not just buying a waist trainer. Mm -hmm. right. You're buying a movement. You're yep. part of a group, a part of challenges. So I think once you sit down and realize the average person does sell their waist trainer, 30 and 40 dollars mm -hmm. for me i knew that i needed a profit and i got time yep. to pay myself back and that's the thing so if you don't want to pay for it that's fine you're not my customer yep and that's it that's it sure. that's it if you are if you don't want to pay for it and i think that's the biggest part we this is definitely for an entrepreneur we want to beg our friends then get off of our ass and get out and go talk to strangers. Mm -hmm. mm. Stop begging your friends. They don't, owe you nothing. They, don't owe, they don't have I got many of friends in business. I don't want them to support me because mm -hmm. I know my customer and half of them ain't my cu customer. Your ass complain all the time. You <laughs> negative. You always ask for a refund when stuff don't go your way. I don't want you as a customer. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times we think we want friends to be our customers, yep. but they are the worst. The biggest thing I can tell any entrepreneur entre today is please, please get around some people who you don't know. Yep. I'm at the flea market every Saturdays and Sundays, and we and, and starting in April, I go on Thursdays and Fridays. Business has never been so good until mm -hmm. I start going meet complete strangers. All my customers don't look like me. They every ethnicity, they're every race. Get around some people who don't look like you because begging your friends, mm -mm. you want to lose friends. Yeah. And stop. Last thing is stop getting mad at your friends. I'm big on them. This is some real ninja business. Stop getting mad at your friends because they don't support your business. Yeah, they're right. not obligated to. They're not obligated to, they're and they friend. may don't need it. Yeah. They're, your, they're friend. your friend. Plus, they've seen you. <laughs> Thank they've you. They've seen you struggle they through all you. of the failures, mm -hmm. all of the business failures. So even though you might see the light at the end of the tunnel, you might know what's about Thank to happen you. for you. They don't see any of that. They don't they don't know exactly how much you have invested in it's it. True. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So until you prove them otherwise or give them some reason to to say damn, he wasn't yeah. he wasn't playing. Well, mm -hmm. your your you friends know, know you. You got to expect to get that kind of attitude from you're them. right your friends know you they know that think about it us three sitting here we didn't start at 50 businesses in 10 years all three of us between the average at least 50 between all three of us mm -hmm. our friends is looking at us as, at us like well you always start some yep. when you do find your niche i'm going to support mm -hmm. because i know when you i'm your friend i know you i know you need money i know you're selling something and i know when you're passionate about something too right. yeah. so right. that's the thing they're looking for you to be passionate about yeah. it they're looking for you exactly. to to go when i post my complete stranger customers i swear that's when i get sales from people i know because mm -hmm. they look at it like, wow, she supported? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It can't be, some, it can't be a mutual them. friend of ours. Like, you can't post your sister. Yeah. Oh, she's, she, of course she's going to buy it. That's, that's her sister. sister. Mm -hmm. But to like, a stranger, that's a customer. Because exactly. I don't know that's your exactly. sister. Right. Exactly. So you have to do that same thing. I, first of all, I love this segment, Ninja <laughs> Business. Because we, <laughs> we, we, we can go forever. Because, <laughs> listen, uh, it's a shame. But it's, it's one of those things we decided to do because... In our community, we we always talk about how black people do bad business, but we talk about it amongst each other. Mm -hmm. We don't want to say it out loud because mm -hmm. we don't want to act like we're dissing our own culture. It is what it is. If we do it, if we're doing bad business, we're doing bad business. Let's fix it. Yeah, like mm -hmm. we're not here just to talk about it and bash it. But what can we do to make it better? Thank you. Because our dollar needs to stay in our community. Thank you. And I don't want to go to another black business and be frustrated when I leave. Because now I don't want to come back yeah. and spend my money. And I think that's another, the final nugget I'm going to give with this ninja business is Miss Burrow, my mentor, always says, says this. 
if business is bad for you and you supporting a black business, stop going to Facebook and telling and blasting the black yes. business on social media. Mm -hmm. If it's good, mm -hmm. you tell everybody. Yeah. If it's bad, stop telling everybody. Go to the person, and especially if they're exactly. a black business owner. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say that for every entrepreneur. Please stop putting, because when Gucci don't do something right, you don't put Gucci yeah, on the right. right. you, no. you don't put Verizon or or even uh, Gucci, just all of these um uh, Versace, yeah. all these names, you don't hear nothing, nothing about them. But soon as Tasha leave off the tipping of your icing, you on Facebook telling everybody exactly. not yep. to support. Yep. So I would just say, if it's good, please write a review. Mm -hmm. Tell everybody and tell the person. If it's bad, stop going to social media. Go to the person yep. and write a review. Yep, because we read it be their customers that don't be them. It, I, mean, I mean, it'd be the, um, their employees. It be them. don't be the owner. It's true. So they need to address it with their employees. And then we look at it like we... Us talking about it make us look stupid sometimes because yeah. we got we we're in our emotions mm -hmm. and we're telling our side, but yeah. it's always two sides. Yes, it is. And if we take the time to understand that it is okay to tell your side, but baby, do it in a review. I, six out of ten people read reviews. Yes, they do. Right. So if you sit down and do it professionally, people will believe you than going on Facebook blasting a yep. black business. Yep. Yep. Ooh, that was a jewel. Thank you yes, so much yes. for saying that. You right. welcome. That needed to be said because a lot of people just go about um, attacking each other's yeah. businesses mm -hmm. on social media and it causes nothing but more uh, detriment yeah. to, the, to, to the business. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost like you you show up to a black business expecting something to go wrong. Oh my God. So yeah. a minor thing that does happen, that can happen in any business, anywhere, yeah. when it happens there, it gets blown up out of proportion. Yeah. You and expect so the like, ninja business. And then they yeah. blast it. Yeah. But like, if you come to my bakery and you get 11 and a half cupcakes instead of 12, it, it's in the world. But if you go to shop right now, it happens. No not one that. says nothing. No Nobody one's like, says oh, it. it must have just been a mistake. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> on shop right's half, not on mine. Just and on then we put an emphasis on, I'm always trying to support black business. Mm -hmm. So we first of all, we got to stop thinking it's every black business. Yep. And then we got to stop putting the ones that are on blast just because you wanted to support you wanted to support yeah, them exactly. so if they didn't yep. meet your expectation write so a review it. write a review and, <laughs> and keep it moving there's yeah. plenty of other black businesses to support <laughs> trust me <laughs> like so seriously yeah. and um the, like I, I like how you emphasize writing a view more so when you're pleased with the business mm -hmm. than when you aren't even though you do encourage mm -hmm. to write it when you aren't pleased mm -hmm. but Try to especially do it when, you, when you're pleased with the business mm -hmm. because the reviews go a long way. Like they you do. said, a lot of people look at them. Mm -hmm. And to the people that do look at them, they mean the world. They do. Yes. They base their decision on whether or not they're going to buy on the, the reviews of the product. Six out of ten purchases are made based off a review. Mm -hmm. Six. That's six that's percent between yeah, your business. That so that means that if you have a business and you're not asking for reviews, remember I started. I ask for reviews for everything. everything. Mm -hmm. I yeah, do for yeah. everybody. Yep. And I noticed that reviews also save me time because a customer may have a question, and mm -hmm. if they read their review, yeah. they no longer even have to yep. reach out to me. Mm -hmm. right. But I think we are so gun ho on just selling the product. Yeah. The product was the first sale. The second and third sale is the follow up from that. Yes. Sustainable. You want repeat cu customers. Repeat sustainable yes. customers. Mm -hmm. We don't know how to sustain because we don't have a follow up system. Mm -hmm. We're not asking for reviews. We're not sending out newsletters. Yep. We're not sending out text text alert, mm -hmm. alerts. So all of that is the follow up. I would definitely encourage people to follow up with your customers. Yep. I have three young girls that I used to mentor out of business now because they didn't know how to sustain. Anybody's gonna buy something one time. Yep. Anybody. It's easy to get that first sale. Get that first sale is easy. easy. But repeat customers yep. are hard. Yes. And that repeat customers mean they like the product. Mm -hmm. I want to tell somebody about it. Mm -hmm. I need it. I don't. Yep. I may don't want it. I yes. need yep. it. And that's the difference. We don't build on repeat customers because we so trying to look for new customers. Yep. When the money is in the person who already know you, like you, and trust you. Yep. Customer okay. retention. Know you, yeah. like you, and trust you. That brings us in some resources. So we gonna get out of here because I want to get to that segment. Let's get into that. Because I, I got questions for her, y'all. Because this one right here, she the follow up queen. So we gonna get yes. some some text alert um, programs going. We gonna get some uh, newsletter oh, yeah. programs going for y'all. We be back. Watch. I got you. All right, y'all. We be back. <laughs>